Hello everyone and welcome to Why Not Mint Money. This is Neil Borate from the Mint Money team and today we will be discussing whether it is profitable to invest after a market correction and what does the historical data say about that. Kuvera, which is an online mutual fund investment platform, has looked at data from 1990 to 2019 to see what kind of returns investors have got after market corrections. They've slotted returns into different bands, so say 50 to 20 percent correction or 20 to 25 percent correction, and they've looked at the average return that you would have got had you invested after that kind of correction. Interestingly, they've also given us the minimum and maximum return you would have got after such a correction. So what does the historical data say for average returns after a 15 to 20 percent correction in the market? Well, the average return is as much as 13.4 percent for a one year holding period after the correction. But the minimum return is as low as minus 50 percent and of course the maximum return is 154 percent. So the range of returns that you can get after investing post a correction is huge. Now what if you extend that holding period to 5 years? In this case your average return comes down from 13.4 percent to just 10 percent. But the range of returns that you can possibly end up with also contracts heavily. So what if you extend the holding period from 1 to 3 years? In this case, the average return comes down a bit from 13.4 to 12.4 percent, but the minimum and maximum returns also come down. So the minimum return goes up from minus 50 percent to minus 14 percent and the maximum return comes down from 154 percent to 50 percent. Now what if you wait for a deeper correction, so instead of a 15 to 20 percent kind of correction, what if you wait for a 20 to 25 percent kind of correction? Your average returns improve slightly, but once again the range of returns or the outcomes you can get is extremely variable. This then is the main problem with trying to time the market. You could end up with a great return or you could end up with a terrible return. The only thing that seems to consistently improve outcomes is staying invested for longer periods of time. Kalpesh Ashar, founder, full circle financial planners and advisors, cautioned investors against losing their emotional balance and giving in to panic. First of all, I would ask people to control their emotions. Those who have financial goals and SIPs systematic investment plans or STPs, systematic transfer plans in place should continue with that. If someone has additional money to invest, he should look at investing a lump sum as well as starting SIPs or STPs in the chosen funds. An SIP or systematic investment plan invests a fixed amount into a mutual fund every month. For example, rupees 10,000 a month into a set mutual fund. This averages out your purchase price. An STP or systematic transfer plan moves a certain sum of money every month from a liquid or low risk debt fund to an equity fund. So it has the same effect as an SIP. There is one final thing that you should keep in mind. Make sure that the fund that you are picking for your investment post correction or for your SIP or STP is of high quality. Ashar recommended that people stick to good quality, large and multi-cap funds. That's it from us folks. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye.